products and baby products were a huge ask, so we have diapers in different sizes, some baby food formula. It's day two at the pop up food pantry at John Wayne Airport. A conference room was transformed Monday into a mini mart for furloughed federal workers. It's a great experience. I'm so just grateful to have this. Tables are stacked with donated produce, canned goods, potatoes, hygiene items, and even a refrigerator stocked with milk and eggs. Nearly 100 TSA employees visited this pantry in the first 24 hours. There are plenty of people here that need it, and yesterday when I was getting on the employee shuttle, I noticed people with bags of food, and it just was so, and they were so thankful and so just happy to have it. Second Harvest Food Bank set up shop on the arrival level at Orange County's airport to service the 400 government employees who are based here. All unpaid federal workers are invited to fill bags of groceries at this location. This coming Friday will be the second missed paycheck for furloughed federal employees. Our concern is, depending on how long the shutdown lasts, more and more people are going to need help. So we want to be here, we want to be prepared. Steve Rivera is in need, but he's helping his TSA co workers too. He takes the donated food home, cooks a big meal, and brings it back to the airport for them to share. The supervisors and management has been working with us so that we can all eat a hot meal together, and it's it's kind of uh, alleviated that mental stress a little bit, being able to share, you know, across the table with a fellow worker. Food and personal hygiene items can be dropped off at the Second Harvest Food Bank in Irvine, and we know that these federal employees need gas cards to get to work. Those can be dropped off at the airport checkpoints. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.